I guess this is like part 12 or 13. Wait, yeah, this is part 12. On the way to fish, on the way to fish, on the way to fish, fish, fishy, fishy, fish. Ah! with Cornwall and Valentine? What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. Yeah. That's about the only upside. John, I mean, didn't have time to get paid for the safety. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards from what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Cool. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hmm. Seems good. Yes, over there on the shore. Cute. Hi, he's aiming backwards. All right. Huh. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let me go. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. Take uh, to the deeper water and pray to good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck? Good fish. Yeah. Towards the middle of the lake. No, no, no. When you catch the best fish. Dwarn or dusk. Oh yeah, I have a lake there. Wrong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite. Ah! I got you, boy. This is much better than fishing with Jack. He barely even fished. Ah. Look at this view. There you go. Well done, Arthur. 
Sturgeon grow a lot bigger than that. Mama Trout. told me once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. Remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. At the Morgan Lore? Himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. Ah! This was 15 years ago. So Arthur's like 36? 35? You can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's on the hook, Arthur. Come on, yes! I used to get Another one with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, and we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had hmm? to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. Oh! There he is. Oh, dear God. I'm not swimming to shore. Just got a little in there now. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, I thought a dog? Yes, the spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. That's the end. Oh, he's dead. I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I like it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Anchor night patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You You're up. right. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Really? So. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. Come on, yes! I was 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I love her in my own way. And she, me, and her, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Ha! Got ya! Ha! Gotcha! Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. Yep. I got you, boy. Down All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Here's 
soon we'll be happy. Can we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. Who is that? We'll find our way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. Thank you, boy. Yes. How about song? Okay. Song. All right, I got one for you. Mariners or mariners? Let's hmm. crash into the dock right. there. I think. I, well, I mean, we. Gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. That's a fat fish. I thought that's a bag. I thought that was fish. This place would be good for us. I mean, that bag is full of fish. Anyway, so technically, it's fish, some... but still. Hello, did I? Hello.
Oh my god, you. I could say the same about you. Densest bastard in the camp. What's your problem? I'm not saying something. I'm done with listening to your horse crap. I'm <laughs> just joking, John. Calm your tits. Hey, Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but this is a good spot. It's just yeah. for now. Can I get some angry? Pearson with him? Say whatever you do, Will, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill someone. If you don't stop hitting at me, I'm gonna kill you. Dude, I just wanna grab some stew. Put that knife down, you're gonna be missing What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Ah. Sufficient feathers in the pillow. I ain't easy, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking one. My husband and I, we share the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you hear? I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! You damn mouthy, crazy, goddamn fishwife! Nerf! Oh, here! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run, man? So be it. We do more than just hunting. We're hunters. And them things hunting them, so they got to of their own. I ain't afraid of that. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Ed are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list. Can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Yeah. You cool down then, yeah. Yes. I ain't no scumbag. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half wit. Guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are you reading this mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Oh, oh, wait a sec. Listen to this. Oh! Since we <laughs> corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a while, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> You ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Uh, we're all right behind something. And what's this? Hmm. Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that, that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Mm. All right, we're here. Yeah, we work for okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, you insane. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people are just trying to get by. So, you head on over there and you buy some food to eat. 
Yes. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Oh, sucks. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the park? Look, it's more than all right. For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to me. Get clapped. Move. Move. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Bye now. Yeah. 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 You have no hands whatsoever. Ugh. Idiot. Give me that. Come on. Sandy probably hits harder than you. Hi. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. Jesus. For goddamn help. Jesus. Get on. I'm about to go. Jesus. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You show sure look hard now. Yeah. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. I think I remember picking one up. You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. My eye out for another one. Treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Oh. Just don't kill the camp cook. Ah. Uh. That's funny. Hey there. Hey. What the hell do you want? What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne and Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hi. How's about this? That did not hit him. Get the hell out of here. Oh! Get off! Get the hell out of here. Stupid Lemoyne Raiders.
Get the hell out of here. Good I'm gonna repeat her. Yeah, he's dead. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful now. You should go for that sentence, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And there was clearly plenty to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Shut up. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. Maybe not. So who do they say they were? The more graders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon pierce about that letter. We're back. What are you doing? What? You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Not quite. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversation, but I'd be lying. I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adder did okay. That's shopping? Yes, that's shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Oops. For the questions is female suffrage. Hold. Gold. Ran off the morning Raiders list in one minute. Get five headshots complete with at least 85. Quit the mission without taking any health items. What's going on? Grace, Bounty Hunting, Chick Matthews, High Finger Filet, Home Robbery. I don't know the Home Robbery was killing. What do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. Which one's in the big house? Oh, 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 is your people there? Jacobites are English. I don't know what, what a Jacobite is. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't. Dude, Lenny's right there. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? Riding around a couple of days back, I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fellow he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> Why? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me. You can take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> you just keep your cool, you hear me? You. Right, follow me. Okay. I have cinematic mode will I do? Like, right. Come on, Arthur! It's been a American love, like. How far is this place? It's been a very. Not too bad. Come on! 
Whatever happened to the young, 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 youngs? How long is this gonna be? I care. Are we here? Can I stealth them? Look, there's one on the outside. This is good. It is. They're not about to see me. They're not about to see me. They are not about to see me. What the hell? How do how does gun go off? Get the hell out of here.
Where are you, little bastard? No witnesses. Found a place, didn't I? All right, All right. Here. here. But don't but forget don't to forget give the camp its shape. Supplies don't appear by magic at all. All right, don't need the lecture again. again. See you back See you at back camp. camp. All right, bye, Sean. Never know how folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. That was easy. All I had to do was I'll put a couple bug shots into some people. So there's no chance. Well, all right, guys, that's gonna be the end of this ep episode of my Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. If you if you like, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe or don't. It doesn't really matter to me.